guys, um, here I am again with doing you another origami um, little project. Um, you may remember these as um, water bombs as a as a kid. Um, and I thought, well, I'll just excuse the state of my nails. I've dyed my hair, so it's probably stuck in the nails. Um, but yeah, water bombs. Or like I've used them here. I need some tape in my craft room. I can't find any tape just to tape these in. But I've put little lights in them. So like when it's dark, you'll be able to see the light coming out of there. And then you can just have them hanging um, from wherever. Okay. So just an idea with them. So you can make these with the kids. So you can teach them how to make these. Um, and they're making them for water bombs. And you could be making them for decoration um, so yeah let's get started i've also got another idea for these as well um, hold tight to that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how to do it in a bigger size okay so it's easier to see it um, excuse the lipstick around there um, just, yeah obviously we have to blow them up so if you're going to use, um, you know, get the kids just to use copy paper, okay, um, for, for your printer and what have you. You can use any colour or what have you. If it's for the kids, I'd just use the white ones. I wouldn't go to the extent of buying, um, you know, anything too elaborate. If you're going to get them just to have the white ones, then you can always get them to decorate it with pens and stuff, um, you know. So they can make them their own little uh, water bombs or I'm just drinking my coffee. Or they can make them as decorations along with you. OK, so we're taking a piece of A4 paper. Obviously, we need a square to start with. So I'm going to take this corner and I'm going to put it so this line up here lines up. Okay. And then give yourself a nice um crease on that okay and then to get this piece off because it's only you know kiddies so kiddies uh, okay so you want to fold it over to the line that it comes with where you folded it over there okay i've gone just a little bit over um over that but then once you've done your crease then just just trim it off it doesn't have to be perfect because at the end of the day we are using this as a water bomb for now so you've got your foot now you've got your, your square okay so we've done that corner to that corner and now we're going to do this corner to that corner and take it up there make sure that these sides all line up as close as they can and give yourself another tight and firm fold there so it looks like that and what you're going to do is you're going to bring this end over to there so you bring it up and over okay. and then give it a nice fold along there now you have this Okay, so what I'm going to do now is we're going to push this up in the center. So you've got your, your point up there. And this fold that you've just done it halfway, we're going to fold that inwards. Okay. And then you're going to do the same with the other side. So you're going to fold it inwards. So you're left with like a pyramid. Okay, once you've got your triangle back, just give it all a nice uh, fold down so you've got a nice, um, you know, it's all nice and flat. So once we've got it like this, you're going to be taking this corner up to this corner here. Okay, so this one's going to come up to that corner. And again, give yourself a nice fold there. This corner up to that corner. And give it a nice fold again okay then you're going to turn it over and you're going to run 
do that corner to that corner, keeping your own for bits at the bottom there. Uh, up to that corner, to that corner, and then that corner to that corner. So, something like that. So you've got your square back again. Then what you're going to do is you're going to bring your, your corner here and you're going to go into the center of the square so basically you just want to get that point to go to where your center is on that square okay turn it around do the same okay turn it over and do the same so you take your corner to the center, the corner to the center. You're left with like this diamond shape. Now, when you look at this, okay, you've got these these bits here at this end where you've got just your loose, airy bits where you haven't got them at this end. Okay, that's all attached. So what you're going to do? You're going to take this corner and you're going to take it to here. So you're going to use if you fold it back on yourself, like so. Okay. And then take that, that one that you've just folded over and you're going to bring it over and like that. Okay. Open it up. And what you've got to do is you've got to find your little pocket in there and then just tuck that ear inside. Okay, so you take this corner and you're going to put it down to this corner. So that one to that one. You'll know you've got the right side because you just won't be able to do it on the, the other end. And then you're going to fold that back over on this bit here. So fold it back. Okay. And then open it up, not all the way, but Got a little pocket in there, and you take that little flap that you've just done there and fold it in. Now you're going to turn it over and you're going to do the same. So you're going to take that corner down to this corner here. Okay, so it goes down into that corner, and then you're going to bring that corner over to here, that point I should say, not a corner, lift that back and then you'll find your little pocket and stick it in. Then you're going to take that corner to that corner and then fold it over on itself again and then find your little pocket in there and push it in and that's it so you're left with like a diamond shape okay and what you'll see is on this end you haven't got any hole but on this end you have and somebody said the other day that they used to use a straw, put a straw in <clears throat> and blow it up. I haven't got a straw with me, so I'm going <laughs> to... I can't blow it. Oh, pants. There you go. That a little bit, but... Yeah. And there's, your, there's your water bomb um, decoration whatever you want to call it. Okay, so I'm going to do another one. Okay, I've got my A4 paper again. Gulp coffee. So to make my first square, I'm just going to line it up there. Oh, you've got it square because obviously your point. There we go. 
spreader. Make sure that you've got this as a sharp point down here. Okay, and then fold this back over onto your, your triangle. Okay. And then just tear it gently. So our first step, <coughs> excuse me, our first step's already done. So that one. So I'm going to take this point to that point. I'm going to make it as as best as you can. Don't forget nice creases. Okay, and we're going to go fold it from this side to that side. We're actually folding it in half now. Okay. We've got like that. I'm going to turn it over. The straight line that you've gone straight in half is going to tuck in. I'm going to bring you two triangle bits up like that. And then on the other side, tuck that in. And you've got triangle again. So then we're going to go this point to that point. Comes the rain again. Hubby's just gone up to the allotment. So he's going to be uh, rained out. This point to that point. Making sure you give it a nice fold. Turn it over. This point to that point. And this point to that point. Okay. Once you've got your square back, you're going to take this point and you're going to take it to the center of your square. Okay. Hello, kitty. Go to the center of your square and give yourself a nice fold. Turn it round. This point to so that point, so it meets there in the middle. Okay, turn it over and do the same. So the point to the center. Hello, trouble. And this point to that point. So whatever you do on one side, you do the same on the other side. Now we've got this person. Okay, and we're going to look for the little thin bits. And we're going to take this point to meet that point. Okay. Keep turning my fan off, and then I'll go hot. And then you're going to take that point. I can't get that for you, but here's the result. Sorry about that, that was um, you know who. <laughs> and you're going to fold it over on itself. And then you're going to find your little pocket and pop it in there. So that points to this point here. And then fold it over itself. Then find your little pocket and pop it in there. Turn it over, do the same. So this point, this point, so that point, fold it over on itself. This is because this isn't very square, I didn't cut it very tidily. Find your little pocket so it doesn't hurt the making of the it still work. Okay. That corner to that corner, that point to that point. Like so. 
over, hold it over on itself again. And then this will keep the kids busy enough just making these. Oh, hello, Trouble. Who's chasing you now? <laughs> and that's that done. See how quick it can be done once you're used to it. So again, on one end, you've got no hole. But on the other end, you've got the hole where you can blow it. She says again. <laughs> maybe, maybe a straw would be a good thing at this point. Well, I haven't got a puff in me. Come on. A straw would definitely be a good idea. Once it goes, it goes. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. Right, so that's how we do it, going from um, a bit of copy paper, an A4 bit of copy paper. Now I'm gonna bring you um, this sort of paper. It's just your craft paper. Um, you know, you, I got this from the range, um, but you can get them from most um, craft shops. And uh, yeah, you're getting 50 sheets. And I think this was a pound. I believe it was about a pound. So, you know, the price isn't too bad either. And this one, I like this one because it, it's got all the different shades in it. So what I'm gonna do is because those ones have got blue and green, I'm gonna start from the back and start using these ones up, okay? So as you did with the, or as we didn't do with the, the other one, um, we already start with a square, okay? So put your pattern side down if you're gonna be using patterns and take this point to that point. So this is going right from scratch. Nice crease on there, okay? And then, oh, I nearly jumped ahead of myself. And then that point to that point. Nice crease down there. And then one side to the other side. So you've got doing it in half. Open it up and you've got that. Okay, don't forget this straight one is going to tuck in. And this straight one's going to tuck in as well. So you get your pyramid. Give it a nice uh, hold down. Pyramid. Okay. Remember, everything you do on one side, you do on the other side. So this point to so that point up there. This point to that point up there. Turn it over. This point to that point up there. And this point to that point up there. I'm sorry if you hear the rain. I will try and finish this before it really comes to harm on us. Okay. So then this point to the centre of your square, you can see this is a lot smaller. Again, you can, you know, if you've got big, big paper, you could make like really nice balloons and design on them. So this point to the center where that point is. This point to that point. This point to that point. You know, once you start making these, you, you'll, you'll fly through them. So, 
find our little bits. Okay, so you're going to go that point to that point there. Hold it back on itself. And the little pocket, which is there. And pop your little ear in there. Oh dear. This is upsetting Tilly again. That point to that point. It's also not having kids, I tell you, having puppies and puppies. Well, puppies aren't puppies, they're grown up. Hey, Tilly, you coming in here? Roo Roo? Where's Amber? Find your little pocket. I get easily distracted as you can tell. Turn it over. That point down to that point. And don't forget you can re rewind, stop this, and you know there's no interruptions. You don't need to worry about trying to find this bit where I'm doing this bit in a live. Hey, give me that point to that point. Well, I demonstrate these in my lives. Do come along and have a look at our lives. Um, you know, I do, I'm trying to do all the, um, what I'm doing on lives, do them as, you know, videos like this, so you can actually copy them, or watch them without any interruptions from anybody at all. Okay. So that's that done. Okay. Again, you'll have one closed end and you'll have one opened end. And this is where she tries to blow this one up again. Wish me luck. <laughs> that went up really well. <laughs> so, yeah, add them to string lights, okay? Um, you can even use these, um, I'm going to, um, like Christmas decorations, you know, you can even get the kids to do these as Christmas decorations and they can do a design on these with, um, my markers aren't out here at the moment, but um, there you are, there's the kitty. Hello, kitty, kitty. And on the back of my chair. So when they're folded down before you blow them up, you can say hello. Are you? I'm all over my uh... oh, I'm just sort of cutting this out, but Right, so before you blow it up, you can always do some patterns, you know, I mean, for argument's sake, if it's a Christmas, for a Christmas tree. Uh, where are you going, madam? This is who I've got to contend with, our little kitty kitty, who's into everything. <sighs> So you could almost make like, um, you know, that holly, for example, you know, you could do squiggly lines. I haven't got any markers out, but you know, you could make these look like anything. You could, they could put glitter on them. Um, For them of you that have trees for all year round, um, you know, you can do your spring, <laughs> you can do Easter eggs, if you're doing Easter trees, um, you know, just hold your oyster. And um, the way that I would probably hang these is just to get a bit of wire and thread it through and just bring it out the top here that is shut, once you've blown it up that is, um, so you, you put the wire through and then make it come through the other the other end. So imagine I'm doing this with a bit of wire. Okay, let's get a bit of yeah, floral wire. 
Okay, so what you can do is, let's see if I can blow this one up again. I've got dye all over my arms and everything. I'm a messy bugger. So like if you were doing this, say um, for the Easter or something, just make sure that you've got something that won't go through. So do it just a, a ziggy zaggy mark with that and then feed it through when it's open. Find the center with your, your wire, push it through. Let that go through. Obviously, you'll be a bit gentler than what I am being. And then all you do is just cut that off, put a little hook, and you can put that anywhere. And um, it's going to come out because I'm wiggling it around too much. But yeah, put a bit of sewing tape or something on there just to hold it. So yeah. So Bob, your auntie so and so forth um you know eat your heart out you know do put comments in the comments if um if you think of a good idea what to use these for as well um you know they're they're, they're fun they're fun like i say even if you're just doing it with the kids to make water bombs in the summer so you can you know sit them down just get some cheap paper from you know your local supermarket or something you know you copy paper print paper make them up like that um think of the fun you could have with the kids you know getting them to get a little funnel or something to put in there so the water you can get the water in there properly without soaking it all first um get them out in the garden when it's not raining and they can throw them at each other or you know while the kids are doing that you can do little ones for yourself make decorations or just make decorations with the kids for you know I mean like I say they can even do this before they blow them up for the water bombs just a little uh, summer fun there okay thanks for watching don't forget to hit the subscribe button hit the like button hit the share button comment in the comments below the video and let me know what you think and yeah so I'll see you all next time. Take care. Bye-bye for now.